the reason I started the tour was because I wanted to be able to celebrate the music of the American Negro slaves. I grew up in Montgomery, Alabama, during the civil rights movement. Choirs throughout the country came to Montgomery in solidarity uh, of the American, of the uh, civil rights movement. A lot of the iconic pictures that you see um, in photos of Martin Luther King when he was in Montgomery, Alabama, were actually taken at my father's church. I used to hear the sermons and Martin Luther King loved to use spirituals in his sermons and the texts of spirituals in his uh, sermons. And I remember the, the Selma to Montgomery March and, and many of the iconic events that happened in Montgomery. But in all of these events, music was a big part. Singing was a big part. Martin Luther King loved to sing. His wife, Coretta Scott King is her name. She was actually an opera singer and she wanted to pursue a career in opera. But at that time, opera was not open to singers of color. Follow the drinking gourd, that was a song of instruction. The drinking gourd was the big dipper. And as, as slaves were trying to find their way to freedom, follow the drinking gourd was a, a song that they would sing. Follow the drinking gourd, follow the drinking gourd, for the old man is awaiting for to carry you to freedom if you follow the drinking gourd. When the sun comes back and the first quail calls,